Travel Tidbits podcast, hosted by the agents of Pineapple Escapes. Join us as we discuss the latest in travel news, destinations, and tips for the savvy traveler. After all, travel makes life sweeter. Hi, I'm Jamie Whitehall, travel agent and owner of Pineapple Escapes, and you're listening to the Travel Tidbits podcast. Today, I am joined by my son, Bo. Um, you heard him last week when we talked about Disneyland, but this week we're going to talk about Disney California Adventure. So in July, Bo and I took a mother-son trip together. Um, so it was just the two of us, and we explored Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, Universal Studios Hollywood, and explored the resorts there by both properties. So it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun together. Um, we were there for five nights, and we really enjoyed having that time, just the two of us. One of the great things about traveling with Bo, he's 13, and he is willing to, you know, take one for the team when I had to, you know, look at things for my clients to explore things in a different way. And so that was really nice that he was able and willing to do that for me. But today we're really going to focus on the top five attractions at Disney California Adventure and our thoughts on them. So we're mostly focusing on attractions that are different from the attractions that you will find in Walt Disney World. There are many attractions that kind of overlap between Disney California Adventure and the parks in Walt Disney World. So we are focusing on the attractions that are different and have a different vibe. Let's go ahead and start with number five. And this is the Pixar Pal Around. So if you've seen pictures of Disney California Adventure, you have seen the um, large Ferris wheel type looking thing with Mickey on the front. Um, I have a great picture of Bo from this last trip in front of it. So we are... <laughs> this one is also called Death the Mother's Stomach. <laughs> yes. So you'll, you'll notice a theme in these little tidbits episodes where Bo and I are talking is I do get motion sick and... This one ended up not being the best ever for me. So on the swinging, on the swinging part. So we are, we're, we had already done the Incredicoaster. We had already done a few things and we go to get in line for this. There was no wait. Um, we got in really early. So we were trying to hit as much as we could early in the day. And there's a line for swinging or no swinging. And I'm like, oh, swinging will be fine. It's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> and then we start to go around and I'm like, no, no, no stop. <laughs> and we stop at just the right part. And holy do we go flying. Yes, we were. We were really swinging. And there there are plastic bags, plastic bags, you know, throw out bags on on the, in each of the cars. And I did pick one up thinking, OK, I like maybe. but. But I, I ended up being fine. We made it around. We went around twice, and I was very ready to get off when we when it was time. But but we made it. But I would suggest if you have motion sickness, go on the non swinging side. <laughs> yes, go on the non swinging side for sure. We survived that one, but that is one um, that is iconic for Disney California Adventure, and definitely a attraction that you should seek out if you're there. So number four, the Incredicoaster. So this is actually one that Bo and I were both looking forward to. Now, be nice in your assessment. <laughs> oh, didn't you mean the screaming random gibberish in your ears while <laughs> hurtling at full speed? <laughs> so the baby, Jack-Jack. Goes missing and gets <laughs> stolen or runs away or something. Right. And so they're trying to find Jack-Jack. You don't need to scream to find Jack-Jack. <laughs> they do. Judah. So they they rethemed this a few years ago to the Incredibles. And I mean it's cute. It's it's nicely done. It's loud. But it's loud. And so there's like speakers right by your ears and it's basically yelling. Don't break your eardrum. <laughs> yelling throughout. But it it was a really good coaster, I thought. I thought it was it was fun. It was different. Um, and at the base of the coaster, there is a place where you can get Jack Jack's cookie num nums, which are delicious, the chocolate chip cookies. 
I mean, it, it was neat. It was. <laughs> it was it. It is its own genre. Of it, it was a little loud for us. Um, it does have a loop to loop. It does have a loop to loop. I mean, the ride itself was good. I just wish you could turn off the sound. I guess was my thing. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. But otherwise, the ride itself was really good, and it it was neat to see the Incredibles character. So definitely another one that you have to do if you're at Disney California Adventure. So our, for our third one, it's Web Slinger. So this is one of the newest attractions. This is located in the new Avengers campus at Disney California Adventure. And this just opened this summer. It was really neat for us to be able to explore in Avengers campus. But it was neat to be able to see like the Doctor Strange area. To be, We ate, ate at Pim Test Kitchen. That was really neat. And they've done a really great job with the theming, with the character shows that are in there. So for Web Slingers right now, you have to join a queue to be able to ride the ride. And we were able to get a time in the queue, but then our wait in the actual line was so long and it was hot. It was also mid-afternoon and in the sun. So by the time we got on the ride, we were kind of done. (laughs) But the ride itself is really cute. Similar to Toy Story, I would say. It's high-tech Toy Story Mania. Yeah. And it's pay to win. You can buy something that helps you aim on it. Yes. In the little gift gift shops around the area, um, you can buy, like... Aim things where you press it and it does shoot. Yeah. It helps your your ability to web sling within within the attraction i thought it was a lot of fun that was really cute i would probably say i still like toy story mania better but the theming was really cute and the whole like dynamic of avengers campus was really neat and i think that was worth it what do you think avengers campus i just like that there is a place i don't well i realize that why they can't build it in orlando yeah, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, so since this isn't something that we will see in Orlando because of Universal, uh, it, it is neat. And I mean, we're seeing. So let's go ahead and move on to number two. So number two is the Guardians of the Galaxy um, attraction. So this used to be Tower of Terror. It is still Tower of Terror in Orlando at Hollywood Studios. And obviously we have done Tower of Terror many times. But the theming on this was really neat. Um, they've basically taken the old Tower of Terror and totally rethemed it. And they did a really good job with it. Like the the ride itself is still very similar, the drops, but the theming is is really good. What do you think, though? I'm not going to say it's better because they're two very different rides. And they're two very different rides. But personally, I like this one better. I like Rocket better. I like Guardians of the Galaxy and Marvel stuff in general. So this is right up my alley. And gosh, it just felt better. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think it. you've never seen the oh, Twilight no. Zone or any of that. So you actually have connection to Guardians of the Galaxy. So I think that makes a big difference. And you've loved those movies. So I think that makes a big difference. But it's very well done and part of the whole Avengers Campus area. Um, So that is our number two. And then number one has to be Radiator Springs Racers. So the Cars Land at Disney California Adventure is, in my opinion, one of the big highlights of going to Disneyland. Um, When Bo was little, he absolutely loved Cars. His very first movie he ever saw was Cars. We watched Cars over and over and over so when he went to disneyland when he was little he really thought that was amazing so of course it was neat for me to walk back through it with him now as an an older kid and we still really enjoyed radiator springs racer so bo tell us a little bit about radiator springs racers and how that ride works so we took the single rider line because it was a hundred minute wait for the standby line so and we got in into a car 20 minutes after we got to be started in the single rider line. So it's definitely worth it. And we were in the same car just right behind each other. Mm -hmm. So that is one definite benefit of traveling with bigger kids is knowing, you know, okay, if my 13 year old ends up two cars in front of me, they'll wait for me at the end. I don't have to worry about it. So 
that was a, a nice perk now that Bo's older and I don't have to worry about those things. So definitely a big change from traveling with littler ones. So that cut out our wait time a lot. So Radiator Springs Racers kind of reminds me a little bit of Test Track at Epcot. But much better. <laughs> but much better. It's it's themed better. And, and newer. And newer. But it has like that same feel, I would say, without like designing your car at the beginning and those sorts of things. But the same like you're testing your car and then you go out and race it. Um, it's really neat to be able to sit like at Flows V8 Cafe and have lunch and be able to watch the cars go through um, on the ride. So that's that's a really nice attraction and definitely one of the highlights. There are a few other smaller rides in the Radiator Springs area. And the theming in that area, I think, is great. Like, you really do feel like you're in a Cars movie. They were refurbishing the Flows place while we were there. Like, half of the Flows stand was up in white tarp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were working on something right there by Flows. Um, but the Cozy Cone was... But flows was still open, and then the Cozy Cone was open. That I think that area is just really neat and really well-themed. And Lightning McQueen was out, too. <laughs> yes, we did see Lightning McQueen. <laughs> where was it that we took the picture where I yes, matched up? On Tomater. So one of the attractions, I have a picture of Bo from when he was five. And I asked him if he would be willing to recreate it for me. And he said yes. He was kind of amused by me. Wearing I the think. same shirt. Right? <laughs> he is wearing the same shirt that he had on in that picture right now. But he was kind of amused by that request, but we found the exact same place that looks exactly the same as it did and took a new picture there. Um, so it's funny how eight years later, we still found that exact same spot. So I've got a picture of five-year-old Bo and 13-year-old Bo in the exact same spot. I still can't smile. <laughs> and he thinks he still can't smile, but I thought the picture was pretty cute myself. Um, one of the things that we enjoyed at Disney California Adventure was the snacks. I think one of Bo's favorite parts of traveling with me, es food. <laughs> especially solo, was I didn't have to say no. So he said, I want this. And I said, OK. He said, I'm hungry. And I said, OK. So I think that that was probably one of the big perks of the trip for him. Would you agree? Most definitely. <laughs> so we had um, strawberry cheesecake churros. We had a regular churro. Bo had a mango smoothie. From schmoozies. Schmoozies. Did I say, say it? I can't say it. It's all right. We ate lunch at Pim Test Kitchen. So we tried the giant pretzel. We tried the Choco Smash Bar. Um, we, we tried the we chicken sandwich. Yeah, we were full. We couldn't finish the pretzel or the Choco Smash Bar. We did finish I our chicken. The pretzel. Did you finish it? I finished it. <laughs> so we didn't finish our candy bar, but we ate the rest of our food. Um, we shared a pretzel, the chicken sandwich, and the candy bar for lunch, and then snacked our way around. Um, Mid-afternoon, when it was super hot, we took a break and had a Pixar Pier Frosty Parfait. This is like a blue raspberry slushy, and it has lemon Dole Whip. I thought that was really good. Like, that was something I would have again. What did you think of that one? I'm not sure it's up my alley. But just a warning, there is no seating or shade <laughs> anywhere near where you buy this. <laughs> anywhere. He is right. We ended up sitting like on the sidewalk underneath the bridge going up to the Pixar Pier just because there really wasn't anywhere good to sit right through there. And, and we were just hot by that point. It was mid-afternoon and we were we were warm. It's the middle of July. It, it was a hot day. But that was really, I really liked that one. That was probably my favorite. What was your favorite snack that we had that day, Bo? I think my favorite snack was, I mean, I like smoothies. But it was either the smoothie or the giant pretzel. I really like pretzels as pretzels, uh, pretzels, <laughs> especially soft pretzels. <laughs> so that was your favorite? Yep. Awesome. So basically, that is a short rundown of our top five attractions at Disney California Adventure. We tried to focus on the ones that aren't at Walt Disney World and give you just a little bit of a brief overview and background. If you've enjoyed our podcast and listening to us today, we'd love for you to click over to Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Um, this helps us to reach more travelers and get our name out there. 
we'd love to help you plan the perfect trip to Disney California Adventure and utilize our expertise from exploring and looking at the resorts there as well. Um, if you would like to plan a trip to Disney World, Disney World, Disneyland, you can email us at Disney World 2, Disney World 2, but Disneyland is what we're talking about today. Email us at info at pineappleescapes.com to get started and we will send you some quotes. Have a great day, guys. Bye, guys. We hope you've enjoyed today's episode of the Travel Tidbits podcast hosted by Pineapple Escapes. Travel makes life sweeter. Let the experts help you plan a vacation with lasting memories. We'd love to help you plan your next vacation and have you join our community. You can find us on the web at www.pineappleescapes.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Pineapple Escapes.